Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lurie back once again in this YouTube NFL segment. I'm going to be giving you a recap of the 2020-2021 AFC wildcard game between the Baltimore Ravens and the Tennessee Titans. Uh, Baltimore prevailed 20-13. to It was very disappointing, of course, for me, a number of other Titans fans, but I do give Baltimore the props that they deserve. Uh, Lamar Jackson got his first uh, playoff win, an elusive playoff win. He finally, I mean, I know there was so much motivation with him and all this talk before the game that he hasn't won a playoff game or postseason game, and he finally got the job done. Baltimore Ravens were very efficient in this game, and it seemed to me they really dominated that line of scrimmage. Derrick Henry, running back for the Titans, could not get going in this one. Uh, the Titans um, only rushed for 51 yards the whole game, and it was very. Uh, the main dif the differences in this game, of course, were, were the uh, the Baltimore Ravens' run defense. Uh, and also the ability of Lamar Jackson's running ability and his elusiveness as a runner. He, um, he rushed for over 100 yards in this game, and he really just did uh, I mean very uh, outstanding job. Again, they were very, uh, Baltimore Ravens were very efficient in this one. They executed when they had to, and the Titans were not really able to get much going in this game. The Titans did jump out to a 10-0 lead. It looked very auspicious for the Titans early on, but Baltimore came right back. They scored like 17 unanswered points. The Titans, I believe, just managed three points in the second half. So the second half, they just were really, as far as their offense, was just really inept in that, um, in that part of the game, especially and the Titans only managed one rushing verse down the entire game. That is something that's almost unfathomable and unheard of for the Tennessee Titans. I really thought Derrick Henry was going to start to get it going at least by the fourth quarter. And it just, they, he was not able uh, to do it. That run defense for Baltimore, again, I mean, was just uh, phenomenal. The, the Ravens averaged 6.3 yards per play compared to 4.3 uh, for uh, the Titans, and this is, um, I mean, this is a game, too, uh, where, you, where you look at this, and it just came down a lot of it to, um, you know, Lamar Jackson's uh, you know, discipline, his determination, um, Baltimore's uh, ability to execute, um, you know, their plays whenever, you know, whenever it was really critical, they seemed to almost always come up with the, the play that uh, that they needed. There were interceptions thrown by each team, one for the Ravens, one for uh, the Titans. Titans only managed uh, 158 yards passing, and the total offense they were um, they were um, beaten as well. Uh, total yards, I mean, were almost a two to one advantage in favor of the Ravens. The Ravens had 401 yards for the game. Titans 209. Uh, Ravens did win the time of possession as well. They were able to control the clock in the game. And for whatever reasons, the Titans were not able to really do a whole lot on the offensive end, especially in that second half of the game. The defense of the Ravens what did come to play uh, today. They seemed to home in on Derrick Henry. I'm sure that was part, a really strong part of their scheme and their game plan today and executed it very, uh, very well. And Lamar Jackson showed a lot of maturity. Showed at the end, near the end part of the game, with like it was like a minute, about a minute and thirty left or so, when he took the ball. It looked like he got a first down, and he didn't go out of bounds. And that showed a lot of uh, maturation on him and evolution as a player. And again, even though I'm a Titans fan, I have to be objective and really give. You know the praise and what uh, to the Ravens and love them for their effort in this game. They did. Uh, they went in as a favorite in this game, and they showed why uh, they were. They avenged that loss they had to the Titans earlier this season. And Ravens obviously were seeking retribution. And Titans were so were jumping on that uh, on the on the end sign, uh, if you would, the, the insignia at midfield of the Baltimore Ravens Stadium earlier this season. 
and I'm sure that was some bulletin board material uh, for Harbaugh and company with the Ravens. So this was just a game. Again, I think you know, looking at it, it was won very strongly in the trenches with the run defense of Baltimore coming up in the big and the the run rushing offense of, of the Titans was really um, very ineffective to say the absolute least in this one. I understand, you know, there's always times when teams have an aberration or letdown. This was one uh, for the Titans, but I do credit the run defense for um, doing, you know, what was. Um, it took for uh, run defense of Baltimore, and they had a raven. The ravenous defense has emerged again, uh, has been revived for the Baltimore Ravens. The defense overall did play uh, very well uh, in this game. There was one. There was one time where it looked a little bit dubious for me in terms of what the, you know, the Titans did. There was some play. I think it was in the second half where they were around the 45, and they punted it as opposed to trying. Maybe, I mean, I guess it would have been a very long field goal or could have gone for it on fourth down. But uh, the Titans just could not, again, they could not really get much going in that second half of that game. And once after the Titans went up 10 nothing, it was just basically all Baltimore Ravens uh, at that point in time. And anyway, the Ravens will be, uh, you know, on a play in the second round either. You know, they may be you know, playing, I guess, either it's Buffalo or they're going to be playing um, the Chiefs. That's all dependent, predicated on uh, the Browns' uh, Pittsburgh game. Uh, if Pittsburgh, uh, if Pittsburgh, the Pittsburgh Steelers win that game, uh, Baltimore, um, Baltimore will be going uh, to um, will, will be going to Kansas City because they would be the lower seed between Baltimore and Pittsburgh. Now, if Cleveland should somehow miraculously upset the Steelers, Cleveland will be going to Kansas City, and Baltimore will be going to uh, Buffalo. Baltimore, I think, would have a better chance against against the um, Buffalo Bills as opposed to going to Kansas City because the Chiefs have simply had uh, the Ravens number in recent time. And the fact is, if they were to go, if the Ravens were to go to Buffalo, they'd be playing against a team that just, you know, is somewhat inexperienced, not, not in a, doesn't have an abundance of experience in the playoffs, just barely got by Indy uh, last week. So anyway, people. That'll conclude this YouTube NFL recap. Until next time, people, Edwin Learn saying stay well.